everyone, I'm Juliet from Birchbox and welcome back to our channel and welcome to the first official full month of spring. I've been thinking a lot about my everyday makeup look and how I want to switch it up for the new season. So today I'm going to walk you through a hair and makeup look that I'm planning on wearing all month long. I have a lot going on this month. I'm going back to Philadelphia to see my family. I'm going to a music festival in California, which I'm so excited about and I'm moving into a new apartment in New York City. So I'm really looking for something that is sort of effortless and doesn't take a lot of time to do, but is still sort of pretty and naturally fresh. So I think this look is perfect for the new season, and best of all, it's using all samples from Birchbox. If you don't already know the down low on Birchbox, here's how it works. Every month we send you five beauty samples delivered right to your door and you fill out a profile when you sign up so you can say things like I have fine hair, sometimes I get acne, and I really love makeup. So you can try new products, you can learn about them through our website and our YouTube videos, and you can buy the full size versions of your favorites right from Birchbox.com. And we also have a really incredible loyalty program where you can earn points to spend in our shop. So now I'm going to show you my everyday springtime hair and makeup look using all samples from Birchbox. So let's get started. First up for this look, I'm gonna prep my eye area and I'm gonna use this Liz Earl Eye Bright. This is a soothing eye lotion, so it's gonna get rid of any puffiness and kind of just refresh my eyes and make them look more awake. You just apply it with a cotton pad like this and then just kind of gently dab it onto your eye area, underneath the eyes, kind of on top of the eyelids. It's really, really refreshing. So next up, I'm gonna use this CC Cream from Supergroup. This is one of my all-time favorite products. We've sampled this in Birchbox before, and I'm so excited that we're sampling it again. It's a really great all-in-one product. It gives my skin a really nice, even finish. It sort of covers up any imperfections, and it has a really velvety consistency. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and apply it with a beauty blender. And then I'm just gonna bounce it onto my face. And this CC cream comes in a few different shades. I'm using light to medium. Also has SPF in it, which is so great, especially as it's getting warmer now in New York City. Okay, so now that I have my base makeup on, I'm gonna move on to a light contour. I'm gonna use Marcel's BB Cream in Golden Glow. Since it's slightly darker than my natural shade, I'm just gonna use this as sort of a bronzer in the hollows of my cheek. So I'm gonna apply this, a little dab on the back of my hand like I did with my CC cream, and I'm gonna use my beauty blender again to apply it, and just sort of make a fish face to see where the hollows of your cheek are. So next up, I'm gonna use Cynthia Rowley's Brightening Illuminator. Cynthia Rowley is a fashion designer based in New York City, and she has a makeup line that's exclusive to Birchbox, and this is her newest product, which I'm so excited about. This is a really pretty, kind of sheer, pinkish-hued highlighter that can be used for a lot of different purposes. Today, I'm gonna use it just as a highlighter on the bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, and my cupid's bow, just to sort of brighten up my look a little bit. I'm gonna take my beauty blender again and use the tip of it to apply just a little bit. I'm gonna dab it on the back of my hand and apply just down the center of my nose. And as you can see, it gives a really, really pretty sort of subtle shine. I also like to put highlighter and illuminator just underneath my eyebrow area. This is really great too if you are in between eyebrow appointments and need to cover up any stray hairs, but it also will just open up the eye area and really make your eyes pop. So next up, I'm gonna use a little bit of blush and this is just sort of gonna brighten up my face. I'm gonna use Jouer's Tint in Petal. This is a really pretty sort of dusty pink color that's really great on all different skin tones. I'm just gonna use my finger and apply it just on the apples of my cheek and it gives a really nice flush that looks natural, which is what we're going for. So this is a cream-based formula that applies really easily so you can build up the color as you go. Next up, the eyes. We really wanna make these pop and look sort of bright and wide awake. So I'm really excited about this sample from Pop Beauty. This is a trio of eyeshadows in the color Peach Parfait. So there's a mix of sort of corally, bronzy colors that are gonna be perfect for a springtime look. I'm gonna start this look with the shimmery sort of bone color all over my eyelid and I'm just gonna use a fluffy eyeshadow brush to apply it I'll even go into the inner corners of my eye just to sort of highlight that area and up towards the brow to give it even more of a highlight there next up I'm gonna use the middle color which is more of a peachy shimmery color and I'm gonna use a flat eyeshadow brush to apply this just on my lid 
So I'm just pressing in and just getting that color distributed all over the eyelid below the crease. And then to give my eyes some definition, I'm gonna go into the crease area with this last color, which is more of a bronzy shade, and just go back and forth to sort of add some definition to the eye. And for this, I tend to focus on the outer corner of the eye. I always do go back and forth, but really focusing on the outer corner to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and more awake. So next up, I'm gonna use an eyeliner brush and just use that same color that I put into the crease on the bottom half of my eye. And a cool trick I learned, if you wanna use eyeshadow sort of as an eyeliner like I'm doing here, you can take a liquid highlighter like that Cynthia Rowley one that I used earlier. Just dab a little bit into your eyeliner brush, then dip it into your shadow. This will sort of create a little bit more pigment for you as you're applying that liner. It'll make the color pop a little bit more and just add a little bit more definition to your look. Now onto eyeliner. I'm gonna use this liquid liner from Ico, and this is really nice because it has a felt tip, so it makes it pretty simple to apply a nice cat eye. But if you need a little bit of extra help with your wing, I actually find it's pretty easy to use an eyeliner brush like this one, and just use a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the color that I used in my crease, and just sort of outline where you want your wing to go with a lighter color. So I'm just gonna start at the outer corner here, just draw a rough outline of where I want my wing to go. So now that I have the guide, I'm gonna apply my Ico liquid eyeliner and just start at that outer corner there and follow the little guide that I made with my shadow. Connect it to the outer corner of my eye like that. And then I'm just gonna make a triangle shape. So starting sort of in the middle area of that wing, I'm just gonna create an open triangle and bring it down towards the center. So now that I have my shape, I'm just gonna use my liquid liner to fill in that open triangle. And I'm just gently tugging on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to connect the line all the way across my lid. A cool trick with this liquid liner too, is if you find that it dries out, which can happen over time, you just take out the little felt tip here and turn it around and it's sort of like you have a brand new liner. So now for mascara, I'm gonna be using Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. And this mascara is pretty cool because you can actually skip the eyelash curler. I'm just gonna apply this starting at the base of my lashes and just wiggle up a little bit and you can really see how it's just hooking onto the eyelashes and lifting them up. So this is a super curling mascara and I love this because it really makes your eyes so now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna just do a little bit of brow, and I'm just gonna use Anastasia's Brow Gel. This is a clear brow gel. Normally I would fill in my brows, but for this look, I'm just gonna keep it natural, and I'm just gonna use this brow gel to sort of shape my natural arch and keep my brows in place all day. To finish off my look, I'm gonna go for something really natural, and I'm gonna use Jane Iredale's Forever Pink. This is actually a lip and cheek stain, and as you can see, it's pretty natural looking, but when you apply it to your lips, it sort of brings out the natural color of your lips for a really pretty natural flush. So I'm just gonna apply this all over, and the consistency is really nice. It's almost like a bomb. Okay, so my makeup look is complete. I love this. It's really fresh and sort of natural and perfect for spring. And I've already done my hair for this look. It's really sort of effortless and beachy. And I used a clipless curling wand to get this look, but I also use this Beach Wave Spray from Fakai, which is really nice because it just gives my curls sort of a tousled and messy finish. I'll put this on wet hair and just use a diffuser and blow dry it and then use a clipless curling iron. But I'll also use it on my dry hair just to sort of liven up my curls throughout the day. So I'm just gonna spritz a little bit all over my hair. It smells so good too. And just kind of scrunch it up to freshen up my curls. So that's it guys. This is my everyday springtime hair and makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And don't forget, I used all Birchbox samples to get this look. So if you're not already a Birchbox subscriber, make sure you get in on the fun and subscribe by clicking the link in our description below. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel for other hair and makeup tutorials and tips and tricks. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.